Hi guys and welcome to U Wrench. Today we're working on the Grand Caravan. Uh, this is the uh, 3.6 V6 uh, engine. Uh, same engine is also in the Chrysler Town and Country, and this applies uh, to all the 3.6s, 2008 all the way through to 2021. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to replace your auxiliary drive belt, aka your serpentine belt. Let's do it. So we need to remove the front right-hand wheel. So let's get that done. So we now have this plastic cover here we need to uh, get out of the way. Uh, this one's a little bit broken. Uh, you can see there's a, uh, a little bolt up there. And we have a plastic trim clip through here. Uh, another bolt uh, just up, up in there. And there should be another clip there, but obviously that one is uh, currently missing. Uh, so you need to get all four of those fixings removed. So these uh, metal bolts, size 10. And these little uh, trim tools, you just kind of got to leave them apart. Uh, with the, the special tool here that helps, uh, but you can just kind of get a screwdriver or something under there and start uh, manipulating it. And that's what you want, need to do. It's just like a little um, push-in uh, plastic clip. I'm going to drop this uh, cover down out of the way. So before we get stuck in, let's take a quick look at the uh, belt assembly here. So we've got our crank here coming off of that. Uh, this is our tensioner. You see the belt comes up uh, over the top of our tensioner, comes around the uh, power steering pump uh, just there, goes over the top of the power steering pump and tucked up uh, under here. Uh, we'll get a shot of that for you in just a second. Is the uh, idler pulley just there. Goes over the top of that uh, and we get into this section here over the top of the uh, alternator pulley belt comes down and here we have your uh, air, air con compressor comes around the bottom of that then it comes up from that and goes over the middle of our water pump uh, just in here over the top of that and back down to the crank so to remove our old belt uh, what we need to do is get a uh, standard 3 8 uh, inch bit and that can go straight to the top of the tensioner there and what we're going to do is we're going to t once that's in there we're going to turn this and this will start to um, uh, release the uh, pressure on the belt once it's uh, released we can start to uh, unhook the belt off of the pulleys It's always a good idea to take a quick look at the old belt, uh, give it a bit of a squeeze and see if there are uh, little cracks that are opening up. This one's actually pretty, pretty good. And so our next stage is to fit our brand new belt. Now just remember the uh, correct routing of your, um, of your auxiliary drive belt. It's actually very simple. Uh, it, goes, it does go around uh, the outside of everything. So once you've come up around the crank and over the uh, top of the um, tensioner just here, it just goes around the outside. Now the only exception to that of going around the outside is when it comes back up from the uh, AC, goes over the top of the, um, of the uh, water pump just here and then back down to the crank. So that's the uh, kind of the only exception. So once you're past this point here, it just goes around the outside of everything, and then you've got to remember to come up, and you, that's the only place that you break the, that, that kind of chain is between your AC and your crank there, and at that point you've got to go up and around your rail water pump. It's a good idea uh, just to uh, double check uh, that your belts appear to be the uh, correct size and length, and also double check that they've got the, right, the correct number uh, of grooves. So 
So I've gone ahead and I've rooted the uh, belt in the uh, correct direction. Uh, for the um, uh, tension, uh, obviously we're going to have to um, release the tension on this belt so we've got a little bit more space. So what I've done, the last one that I've left to be fitted, right up here is the alternator pulley, which is actually the smallest one. So I've got kind of the, uh, the smallest amount of uh, space needed to get that belt fitted back on. So we're going to adjust the uh, tensioner and hopefully hook this back up at the top here. Before you release the tension, just have a quick look on all of your pulleys. Make sure that belt is definitely seated correctly in the grooves. And if it looks correct, then slowly release the tension. Then just give it a couple more little uh, pumps just to help seat that belt properly. So here's our new auxiliary drive belt up and running. So there we have it guys, that is our uh, auxiliary belt aka our serpentine belt uh, completely fitted and you are good to go. If this video has been helpful for you, a quick favour before you leave us please at least be sure to hit that like button. If you could also consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, we've got loads more great content and it really does help us out. Much appreciated guys, we'll see you again.